All right, back on the camper project. We have this old futon couch looking thing. Uh, and it will weigh down flat. If you want it to, uh, cut a frame out and screw that together with two by fours and lay these ones flat. So you got maximum amount of space underneath here and then set these up underneath those two by fours so you can add doors if you want at some point in the future. But for now, at least, uh, there's a couch and a place to sit. So making super awesomely progress and we'll continue with that later. Excellent. Mirror is hung by the chimney with care. Hopes that St. Nicholas soon will be there. Bed is in place. And I gotta throw some sheets and stuff on that and then it's gonna make that look real nice. Real nice. All right, there's a mystery behind every surface in here. So you gotta peel just the layer off and rotten plywood a couple layers deep underneath there. But we're going to try to shave this all down here where it starts adhering. Cut that off and just plane it out to where it's normal plywood again. And then I'm going to try to lay some tile in here. To try to permanently waterproof that, hopefully. So we'll see what happens. Alright, so what we done did here was we set this up against the wall. Use this as a spacer. Put that up into the corner. Drew a line across the plastic to establish where our cut line was then we took it over here to Mr. Wetsaw and just left it inside the package and cut right through the deal and so that piece of work up on top over here this piece is the first piece and we're ready to start laying some tile and I think I'm going to try some of this this stuff I haven't really played with it much before but uh I'd really like the darker color preferably because it's probably going to ooze through. A lot of times I'll just mix up grout and put grout directly on the surface and then let the grout ooze through the cracks and grout it as I'm going. So I may do that. We'll see. I'm just going to have to play with it and see if I even like this product. I use this small V-notch trowel to try to play with it. I, I do remember I've used this stuff once before and it took a very long time to dry before I could grout it which in here is not a problem. So um, I like the way it spreads on there. So I think I'm gonna continue to use it and I can get it thin enough. I don't think I'm gonna have a big problem with squeeze out on that. At least nothing that I can't clean up before I prep it for grout. All right, yay, here goes nothing. And then generally you just wanna stay just a little bit ahead of where you're at if you're putting it on the wall. And then um, if you get too far ahead of yourself and the stuff sets up and then you don't have it stick right. So here we go. Uh, I really like how that stuff bonded on there and it's not too thick where it's oozing through. So I think this is probably going to be perfect for what I'm doing here. So I'm going to continue on and we'll go from there. I'm not going to worry about these little crumblies in the corner because I'm going to come back with another layer of tile stick it up there anyways. So that all get covered up. He's looking good. Okay, this is where I really like using this sheet tile for going around small spaces. Because I can take I can take this, measure up to where the, the height is here, and just cut this off, zoop, and go ahead and lay that tile on there, and then fill in a little spot. A whole lot easier than trying to cut a big old swoopy out of this thing and then try to figure out what to do with that much tile. Makes it uh, so you don't hardly have any waste. We are cruising along with our little tile installation. Can you see all my mistakes? I sure can. But hey, it's a camper, so we made it work. Somehow or another, I ended up out of plane. I'll show you the mistake. So I had to fix it right here to get everything back on track to the same level. Weird, huh? Yep, weird. All right, now I gotta put that little strip in before it gets too dry to stick it. All right, this is what is known as the Bach. The beautification of the camper. Hence, Bach. So we got that all fixed up. And I got a set of plates. Maybe those will work. Maybe they won't. Let's try this. I'd like to try this. Maybe. Check that out. 
I don't need that little holder offer thing now. It can just lean out of the way. Perfect. So we'll clean this up a little bit. I'll go propane bottle later. Test it out. Make sure it works. In the meantime, uh, last thing I got to do is grout. I wish I could do that today, but I really need to let it dry completely. Because if you go over stuff before the grout's ready, or before it's ready to grout, then you can really introduce yourself to all kind of problems. So let's take a look here. It's not too bad. I almost hate to put curtains on it now. 